welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will discuss tuples tuples are used to hold together multiple related objects they are similar to the lists discussed previously in that they are also sequence data types but different but different that they don't have all the functionality afforded by lists the key difference between lists and tuples is that you can't change the elements of a tuple once they are set this property of tuple is called immutability tuple syntax the main advantages of using tuples rather than lists are as follows they are better suited for use with different data types tuples can be used as key for a dictionary this is due to the immutable nature of tuples iterating over tuple is much faster than iterating over lists they are better for passing around data that you don't want changed a tuple consists of a number of individual values separated by commas just like lists as with lists a tuple can contain element of different types you can create a tuple by placing all of the comma separated values in parentheses like this let's see an example of a tuple we have we have a tuple pets and has elements cat dog parrot print tuple pets print pets check type of parrots print type of pets see the result to run the cell this is element of our tuple pets and pet has type tuple next the parentheses are optional and you might as well create a tuple using just the comma separated values as follows create a tuple without parentheses pets is equal to cat dog parrot print tuple without parentheses print pets check the type of pets print type of pets see the result run the cell the output of the above statements is cat dog parrot and close tuple note that the output version of a tuple will always be enclosed in parentheses no matter which method you use to create it this prevents confusion and allows us to better interpret tuples visually in this example of a nested tuple we can see why outputting in this format is important pets has elements cat dog in parentheses and parrot is without parentheses print pets tuple print pets check type of tuples print type of type print types of pets to see the result run the cell you can clearly say that the output is in the output is between the parentheses what if we wanted to create a tuple with one element we could just enclose it in parentheses right consider the following code one is a tuple and has a single variable things print the tuple print one check the type of check the types of tuple print type of one wrong as you can see in the preceding example cre creating a tuple in this way will only result in a string being created see the result things but it is not tuple it is a type of string you have to recall one very important part of the definition of a tuple it is a collection of comma separate values the comma is very important therefore you would have to do something like the following to create a tuple with one element one things after this comma print the tuple one print one check the type of one print type of one see the result no this is a tuple because of this comma exercise creating a tuple in this exercise we will create a tuple we, we will create a tuple of our own we will create a vehicle tuple add the elements listed as follows and verify the object type the elements are as follows toyota bmw benz create the tuple and populate the elements create a tuple vehicle and assign elements toyota bmw and benz print tuple vehicle print of vehicle verify the object type print type of vehicle see the result run the cell the output is toyota bmw benz and class tuple tuples gives us various ways to access their elements these are as follows 
indexing, slicing. First, we discuss indexing. Similar to this, we can use the index operator to access an element in a tuple by using its index. Tuple, in, tuple indices start at zero, just like those of this exercise. Accessing tuple elements using indexing. In this exercise, you will see how to use indexing to access tuples. To create a new pets tuple with the elements dog, cat, and parrot. Pets has elements cat, dog, parrot. Run pet access pets of one to access the second index. It's mean access the elements of tuple pets at the index one. Print prints pet print pets of one. See the result. Run the cell. The output is dog. It's mean dog is at index one in the tuple pets. Try to access an index that is not in the tuple. Python will raise an index as uh, index error as shown here. Run this error. Tuple index out of range because there is no element in the tuple pets at index three. And this is can also be negative. If you use negative index, minus one will reference the last element in the tuple. Minus two will refer to the second from last element in the tuple and so on. Use the following code to access the tuple. Pets has elements cat, dog, parrot, garbil. This is the last element of the tuple. The last element of the tuple, pets of minus one. It means the last element is at index minus one. Then the second last element of tuple, pets of minus two. It means that the second last element is at the index minus two. See the result. Run the cell. The last element of tuple is garbil. This is the last element, and the second last element is parrot. This is the second last element. Second last element. As we list indices, tuple indices must always be integers. And trying to use other types will result in a type error. As shown in the following code, type a string and a float value as an index. We have a tuple pets. And has elements cat, dog, parrot. Result index of type string. Print pets of string one. Add string one. See the result. Tuple indices must be integers or slices, not string type. It means indexes of index must be integer type. Print index of type float. Pets of one point five. The same error will be. Occurred again. The indices must be integers or slices, not float.